This is a brief overview on how to work this clock. It is made by EPH Controls and it is the Combi Pack 4. When we look at the screen, the screen shows you the temperature of the room at the moment. It's 21.1 degrees in here. This is the month, the day, the hours and the minutes. The buttons are like this. This is to operate your central heating system on automatic. This one would be to operate your central heating system on manual. This would be to turn the system off. The program button is for setting the programs. The time button is for setting the times. That, I'm going to stop there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the time. So I'm going to press time. The year is flashing. Whatever is flashing is what you alter, and you alter with the plus and minus buttons. So I'm going to bring the year up to 19. Press OK. It then moves on to the month, and I can alter the month with the plus or minus buttons. Press OK. The day, plus or minus buttons again. Press OK. The hours and the minutes are the same. And that is that set. This clock can operate your central heating system on a five day, two day principle. In other words, Monday to Friday is a set block of programs, and Saturday and Sunday separate. Or you can operate it on seven day or 24 hours. For now, we're going to leave it on five day, two day. Most people would have it like that because they're out at work during the day and home at the weekends. And I'm just going to press OK. I'm just going to come out of that. And the first thing I'm going to do here is going to press automatic. And now I'm going to press program and we're going to look at the programs. Now we're setting Monday to Friday programs and we have six programs down the side. And at the minute you can see number one is flashing. So this is the first program in the morning. And you can see here my heating is set to come on at 6.30 in the morning. And it's going to heat the house up to 21 degrees. I alter whatever's flashing with the plus and minus button. So I'm going to leave it at 6.30. Press OK. It then goes to the temperature. So what temperature do I want my house when my heating comes on at 6.30 and I want my house at 21 degrees. And I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to leave it at 21. And I'm going to press OK. It then goes down to the second program. And it's set here to go off at 8 o'clock. And I'm going to press OK. And at 8 o'clock, I'm setting a minimum temperature of my house. I don't want my house to go colder than 16 degrees while the heating's off. So it would have to drop from 21 to 16 for the heating to come on. And if it came on, it would only maintain a minimum, or sorry, a maximum of 16 degrees at that time until the next program tells it what to do. And I'm going to press OK. Comes on again at 12 noon, but I'm still maintaining 16 degrees. I could have it coming on higher if I wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it at 16 for now. Press OK. Press OK. I'm down to the fourth program, it's still at two o'clock, it's still at 16 degrees, and I'm leaving it like that. And you can see the fifth program, at half five, my heating's gonna come on, and we're gonna raise the temperature of the house to 21 degrees, as you can see here. I'm gonna press okay. At 10 o'clock, the heating will knock off, and the heating will drop to a minimum temperature of 16 degrees. In other words, if the house dropped to 15, the heating would come on until it reached 16, and it would stop. But the drop from 21 degrees to 16 is more than likely not going to happen throughout the night. I'm just going to press OK. The next time I press OK, it's going to go to Saturday and Sunday. And there we are. Saturday and Sunday. And we go down through the six programs for Saturday and Sunday. So I, the way I view it is number one program is on, two is off, three is on, four is off, five on, and six is off. So I'm just going to let you look through those. I'm just going to keep pressing OK. So at 8 o'clock, it's going to heat the house up to 21. At 10 o'clock, it drops back to 18 degrees at the weekends. Okay. Third program, it's at 12 o'clock, it's going to heat the house up to 21 degrees again. Okay. Okay. Next program, number four program, at 2 o'clock, we're going to drop back to 18 degrees. Okay. At fifth program, the heating's going to come on at half five, and it's going to heat the house up to 21 degrees. Okay. Okay. At 11 o'clock at night, the heating will go off, and it'll drop back to 16 degrees. And I'm going to press okay. I'm just going to come out of that now because I'm finished setting the program. So I'm just going to press the automatic to come out of that. So if you want to work with those programs that I've just shown you, you have to have your system on automatic, as you can see on the screen. Sorry, let me just come back. As you can see on the screen here. So we're automatically operating the clock with the programs that we've just set. Okay. While you're in between programs, you can override the time clock. And this would be a temporary override. The programs will still talk and still take effect to the controller so I, if I press the plus button just while you're looking at the screen it says override and I'm temporarily overriding the heating so say I want the heating on for instance 21 degrees or sorry 23 degrees I press OK it'll bring the heating on it'll try to heat the house up to 23 degrees but when the next program on the that we had set comes into play it will still take over and still do what it's supposed to do it's a temporary override 
So I'm just going to press automatic again to, to cancel that. I can manually operate the heating system, but when I manually operate it, that is exactly what it is. You are manually taking over control of the clock. So if I press manual, I can bring the temperature to what I want, 24 for toxic, and press OK. The programs do not take effect anymore. We are manually operating the clock. It will keep to that temperature until you make a change to the system. That would be something that you, you wouldn't use often, but everyone's different, and mine would probably be used more for heating systems that are on maybe 24 hours a day. So I'm just going to come back to automatic. Okay. Another way to operate this would be while it's in between programs. If your heating, say, had went off at uh, midday and it's not due to come on till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we've got a boost button. The boost button, you can boost it for one hour, two hours, or three hours. So basically, if you watch, the time of day is 19.22. If I press boost, it says boosted for one hour, 20.22. If I press it again, boosted for two hours. If I press it again, boosted for three hours. Simple as that. If I do press it again, it'll actually cancel it out. And that is basically all there is to operate in that clock. Not a lot to it. Um, there's other functions in the clock where you can set up holiday programs and copy, but I'm just going to show you what I've shown you now. This is the basic, uh, for more detailed instructions, just refer to your manual. Okay, I hope this helps. Okay, thank you.